Okay, so I've had a great question from Jack about paid tea tests. And he asks, or what he says, um, Hi Rob, a bit of confusion while performing the paid tea test for cycle four. So obviously we don't explicitly tell you how to do a paid tea test in quantitative skills, but you do have to do one for the CSS of 109. And you're comparing those two classes, uh, Dr. Xavier and Dr. Smith. And, okay, I'll carry on reading here. When variable one is selected as Xavier, the T value is positive, but is negative if variable one is Smith. Shouldn't both be positive or negative, regardless of which variable is placed where, as both sets of data are the same, regardless which is variable one or two? A positive or negative T value affects whether or not the null hypothesis accepted or rejected, if I understand correctly, which is why I am confused. So, let's clarify this. Uh, okay, that last statement you've made there, Jack, a positive or negative T value affects whether or not the null hypothesis accepted or rejected, that is not true. A T value can be positive or negative, right? Let's just, let me just explain what this means exactly, right? Let's say, um, let's say I plot these um, scores as box plots. Let's do this, right? Actually, I'm going to use a bigger, thicker pen here. Look at that. Bob, Bob, right? And this is score. And I'm going to have uh, group one or test one. Let's call them test. Let's say the, the same groups of students. And they've done two different tests, right? And I might have. A distribution that looks like this for one. Oh, oh. And I might have a few outliers here, here, and then two. And let me draw. Let me draw the mean on that as well. Okay. And the second test might look something like this. Okay. Okay, so from a diagram like that, it's very difficult to decide whether the change in the means of those who test are significant or not. You can't just decide that from the box plot because they overlap and the means are kind of similar. So I know, let's say mean one, um, is something like 55. And let's say the mean of two is a little bit higher. Let's say it's like 57, right? Now, even though the mean there is higher, you can't say whether that result is significant or not, okay, until you do a t-test. And what you'll find if you do a paired t-test on those two sets of data, so the groups are the same, you know, you can pair each student between those two groups, uh, you will get a value um, for the T statistic, and you need to compare that to the, t the critical value, which is given with a, an alpha of 0 0.05. Uh, and actually, if you do that in SPSS, it will give you a P value. So let's, for example, say uh, you get a T value here of something like um, minus 2.1, right? Now, it's minus because the relative change between the means of both of those test scores, the second test score is higher than the first, okay? And in that situation, you're going to get a negative T statistic if you put this is group one and this is group two, test one and test two, okay? If it was the other way around and say this second mean here was lower than the first, then you'll get a positive T statistic. It doesn't matter. Um, whether or not your T value is positive or negative makes no difference at all because you are not asking whether the increase or decrease in your mean is significant. You're simply asking whether the change either way is significant, okay? So, for example, in this case, if you've got a T value which is minus 2.1, you're still going to get a positive P value. So, and in this case, P might be something like 0.0. 0.4. 
Now, if that's true, then P is less than the alpha of 0 0.05, which means that you can reject your null hypothesis. Okay, So your null hypothesis would have been there is no change in the means between test 1 and test 2. Okay, if you get a value which is less than 0.05 for your p-value, you have to reject that, that, that um, null hypothesis. In other words, the change in means between those two tests is significant. I reject my null hypothesis. Okay, So, to summarise, whether or not your t-value is positive or negative makes no difference because it's the, the, the direction of the change um, doesn't matter. I mean, the test scores could have decreased. Um, as long as your p-value is less than 0 0.05, you can make a decision on whether, um, as to whether to reject your null hypothesis or not. So, Jack, I hope that makes sense. Um, if not, just let me know. <laughs>